Hi folks, welcome back to the second edition of Rock House Reviews, uh, located here in the beautiful Pisgah National Forest in North Carolina. Uh, today is a follow-up to the Rocky Mount Backstage Swing Away Rack. Uh, first video had uh, the assembly process of it, how it's very quick once you buy this rack to put it together. Uh, today we actually have it mounted onto um, our GMC 2500 HD. We have a truck camper, it's a North Star TC800 with a wraparound bumper, which created a little bit of a challenge because we couldn't put it directly in on the bumper, on the hitch rack. We had to buy an 18 inch extension, bolt it on, and then um, put the rack on there. Now Rocky Mounts uh, does not recommend using anything other than the 8 inch, eight inch extension that you can get from them and actually has a bolt in uh, function on that as well. We decided this is the only way we could go so we're going to give this a try. I've loaded a couple of bikes on here. I've got a, a Niner RLT um, gravel bike with 33 centimeter tires on it and then behind it I've got a 29er uh, Salsa Selma uh, I think there's a 2.4 inch tire on the front right there. Um, one of the things that you'll do once you get this rack on, uh, to release it, you have to spin around and unscrew the rack there and then pull a little pivot point here. And once you do that, the rack will start to swing away. You can either swing it away halfway here, gain access to your van, your SUV, trailer, uh, truck, tailgate, etc. Or, if you need it to get uh, further away, there's an additional pivot point. You pull here. This will start the pivot point. You can click it in place. Swing it all the way around. It locks in place there and gives you plenty of access to get back into your vehicle. So, close it back up. You want to pull first from your pivot point. Start it in. Then pull back. You can swing the entire rack in. Close it up. Once it's clicked into place, and you be sure it is clicked into place, screw this back in until it is tight, and you are good to go. If you just want to tilt it down, it also has that functionality for quick and easy access into the back of your tailgate or your SUV. Uh, for us, it wouldn't work on the camper. We do have to swing it away. So back up, clicks into place, good to go. I think we're going to like this rack. We're headed out to southwest Utah in a few weeks. We'll report back and let you know how it goes.